Geminis. Thank you for joining me at the Tarot Cottage today. I am back today with a Zodiac reading for you. And we are asking the question today, what is next in love? What's coming up for you guys in your love lives? If you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time, we want to welcome you to our community with open arms. Please pull up a chair and grab yourself a drink or a cup of tea. And we'll have a bit of a chat because we're all friends here at my table. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being here for me and with me. I appreciate you guys so much spending the time here on my channel. So Gemini, what is coming up for you in love? That is the question of the day. We're going to do charms for you. We'll do some encouraging messages from spirit and we'll see what's coming up for you in love. We have the two of wands. We have the king of pentacles and we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse position to start out your reading. So let's get some clarity on those cards before we pontificate too much upon it. To clarify the two of wands, whoops, we have the two of cups, but lots more. So I'm just going to take the top card. Clarifying the father of pentacles, the king of pentacles, please spirit. What is coming up for Gemini in love? The ace of cups, beautiful. Oh my goodness, Gemini. You guys have some powerful energies. To clarify the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position, we have the Chariot. Okay, this is in all oh, the Nine of Cups on the back of the deck and the Four of Wands. Okay, Gemini, you guys have some... I'm almost at a loss for words here. You guys have a lot of love coming in for you um, in the future and then very near future here. If we start in the back of the deck energy here, we've got the Four of Wands, we've got the Nine of Cups. What is coming forward for you is a strong connection. Is a, You guys have someone coming in. It could be a, a very stable type of um, earth sign here with the King of Pentacles. Um, and what it's going to really do for you is just, it's going to be a connection like you've never felt before. I really feel that. And it's going to be, a, it could be a soulmate energy, I feel like saying, because we have the Two of Cups present. And there's a lot of twos. We have the two, two. You know, it's just about coming together with that person that you will have this amazing spark with. You have such an amazing spread here. The only thing that is throwing us for a loop here is this nine of pentacles reversed. It's like you've had setbacks in the past. And it's almost like a sense of you're on... When this offer comes forward, you guys might be almost tempted to almost kind of resist the change, kind of resist the offer a little bit, kind of resist all of this new emotion that you're feeling. Because you've had setbacks in the past, you may have been disappointed. But when I say that this is a strong connection coming in, I mean it. It's going to bring you stability. It's going to bring you an emotional new beginning. If you've been hurt in the past, if you've had these setbacks in love, if you've been disappointed, this is going to shake things up and make you believe in love all over again. We have the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands to start out your reading. That's about expansion. It's about passion. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's about a, a coming together of a relationship. And sitting right next to it is the beautiful Ace of Cups. It's And it's, it's interesting to me because behind the Ace of Cups is like this pattern of scales. And like I said, I feel like you've been hurt. I, Gemini's, I feel like um, you guys have kind of a, a thick, a thick outside kind of a thick wall that you've started to build up over your heart a little bit but this ace of cups is going to come in and and cure all of that this ace of cups is going to be an emotional new offer an emotional new start of security of happiness but the chariot here is present as your reminder that this is your decision to make cancer energy is represented here i know we're talking to you gemini's you guys could have cancer energy in your chart perhaps um it just shows the emotion behind it this will be an emotional new start for you, but the chariot card here is a reminder that you have to make that decision yourself. Spirit can't make it for you. They can present these offers, but it's up to you to kind of step out of your comfort zone, step away from kind of the disappointment of the past, and literally believe that that true love exists, that happiness on this level exists. It's like a dream come true. It almost feels too good to be true, and I feel like that's why you're like, eh, I don't know if I can trust this. But the chariot is warned, telling you that you can charge into this with determination, with willpower, and with confidence. Gemini, what is coming up in love? <clears throat> Advice from spirit.
I almost feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> what is coming up in love? Gemini's. Two of swords. So Spirit is saying, you know, in the past you have been hurt. You have to take off those masks now. Make that decision. Are you going to let the past hold you back and, and stop all the abundance that wants to flow to you? Or are you going to, you know, leap into this new beginning? Are you going to take the step off of that cliff and like, pursue this new passion that's really going to awaken you we have the nine of cups again this is a dream come true offer this is a person that's going to come in and offer you the ability to move into calmer waters you're just going to feel so abundant and happy that nine of cups is that dream come true Woo! we're losing them all here okay this card fell out the ten of wands it's like and it's coming up over top of that nine of pentacles so there are, again there is that sense there is that sense of feeling tired feeling burdened by the past feeling burdened by um disappointments that happened really wanting to expand yourself and almost feeling like vulnerable when this offer presents itself because it's like if i let my guard down i'm going to be vulnerable this person's laying here naked trying to cover up you know desperately trying to cover up and just it's that vulnerability that that spirit is urging you to push through that obstacle of vulnerability because on the back of the deck here here's that that page of cups out of the blue out of the blue and i feel like saying that in that sense because out of the blue out of the sadness this offer is coming in this beautiful emotional new offer the stability is going to be there for you it's about happiness you have the king of wands not only will you feel stable, not only will you feel secure, but this is a person that's going to offer you <laughs> King of Pentacles again. They want to offer you passion. They want to offer you security. This person coming in for you could be male, could be female. Again, I say male and female as for ease of execution for myself, but these are energies that are coming in for you. But you have to, again, that's your decision to make. It is your decision to make this a reality. And it wants to come to you. It desperately wants to be in your energy. So, you know, charge into that new beginning would be my advice. Beautiful, beautiful reading for you guys, Gemini. That was, that spread is gorgeous. And it's just, oh, complacency. You've been sitting too long in these feelings, like watching the seasons change, feeling yourself grow old for fear of disappointment again. And spirit says no more no more this offers coming in it's meant to it's a bittersweet moment for you because you know it's kind of admitting to yourself that maybe you've been kind of holding yourself back from these offers longer than you should have but it's also a gift of reality it's also a gift from you know the universe letting you know that don't lose hope that beautiful bedov of hope is there instinctually you'll be able to tell if this offer is a valuable one that's coming in and i feel like you're going to feel that instantly like inside this emotional start and that's what's going to throw you for the loop at first there's going to be some pushback because all of a sudden you're going to be in the concept of mind of having this you know hope for love this potential for love will be in your realm and then all of a sudden it'll throw you for a loop because you've been in such a place of of kind of not trusting of it and worried about losing so it's going to throw you for a loop it's going to set you you're going to feel uncomfortable in this shift <laughs> you know despondence and faith it's like you don't trust you don't trust in the universe to give you what you want for some of you what you really would love to have is a family as well with pregnancy we have the pregnancy paramount on both of these um so for again take what resonates leave what doesn't but for some of you gemini's there could be a child on the horizon as well and look at this offer coming in from your guys like we're offering you this hope it's your choice whether to trust it or not you have to have faith in yourself and in us and our and in what we want to offer you beautiful gemini's what is coming in for love for you passion king of wands brings in the passion Something you've been missing out on, I feel. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations will be needed. Being honest with this offer that comes in. 
and on the back of the deck we have forgiving and learning it kind of flew out you know it's about forgiving yourself learning from what you've experienced in the past and not letting it hold you back and understanding that you're in control of that this could be the one but it's up to you it's your decision the chariot is a decision card this could be the one for you if you let it happen we have cougar assertive are <laughs> it's interesting because you know the cougar can sometimes represent an older woman who kind of is going after a younger man so that could be what's coming in for you guys always take it resonates in silence you find power claim your leadership role and take action you know where to go and what to do you have the courage and confidence to succeed okay let's get some moonology cards and then we'll get you some messages from spirit and then some charms Communication is key. Again, being honest with this person coming in. Tell them what you've been through. Tell them where you're, you know, what your trepidations are. This person wants to make, they want to reassure you. The King of Pentacles coming up twice. They're like a really, they're like a leader, a fatherly type energy coming in for you. And I mean that in the most <laughs> romantic way possible. Um, a new romantic cycle begins for you. But don't let that pride, don't let that fear of the past get in your way. Let's get some messages from Spirit for you. All right, let's see what we got today. <clears throat> Giving up now is not the answer. <laughs> your guides and your angels are letting you know if you if you feel like you've given up on love, or if you're like, you know what, I'm done. I'm just I'm just done in general. They're just saying that's not true. It's not. It's you can tr say that, but it's not happening <laughs> because you have an interesting offer on the horizon and it's coming. So you're going to have to make that decision and, you know, tell the universe what you want specifically. Also here, a good card that came up here, you're manifesting financial abundance through this connection. We have the King of Pentacles here twice. That's a lot of financial stability on an earthly type of. Ooh. You are about to fall in love, Gemini beautiful lover's energy there you are about to fall in love don't be scared because that change is coming like a freight train and it is time to let go of the fears and time to let go of the past and what held you back back then do something creative this week to get yourself boosted into a positive mindset um, because I feel like you guys have kind of been a little bit jaded when it comes to love so do something creative to kind of boost yourself into a positive sort of mindset on the back of the deck we have change is the only constant let's get some charms for you gemini take this one and i'll take this one What do we have in the bowl today? We have the queen, or sorry, the high priestess and the ten of wands. You had the ten of wands in your reading. That high priestess just shows you sitting on the knowledge that you know you're worthy of love. You have an instinctual knowledge of who you are. You could be very um, intuitive yourself as well. Um, we have the ten of wands, which shows you tired of, of the burden of not being able to put those wands anywhere, having nowhere to put them not being able to see where you're going, not understanding the end result of all this hard work and all this emotional turmoil. Um, Spirit's saying it's coming. It's coming for you. We have A. We have ballet slippers. Believe in love. You've lost some of that belief. Don't forget to hope. We have the starfish spirit here. Always remember who you are. You are this beautiful empress as represented by that flat shell. You are this, you know, a beautiful spiritual being having a human having a human experience here we have the protection realm um, rune of friendship so this person coming forward it's not just about it's about that emotional new beginning it's about somebody who can kind of find your soft spot find your weak point and and make it through those scales you've kind of you've kind of built up and it's the type of security it's like a relationship that is friendship based that is you guys will have it all like this is a soulmate type of energy you guys will have it all this person will be your best friend could be traveling with this person in the future the airplane 
children could be in your future with the empress and the spoon here and the little star it's little because you have a little bit of hope left and spirit wants you to use that little bit of hope on this opportunity that's about to present itself it's about expansion it's going to expand your experience and and give you a new perspective to go off of in the future which is a wonderful thing okay gemini if this resonates with you please come back and leave me a comment please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already um and please head on over to instagram and check me out over there but ultimately i hope that you come back and visit me on another day and i hope you have a wonderful day today gemini bye